Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the second, but you know the timing is fluid. Uh, before we get started, I just need to bring up, I've gotten a lot of emails, uh, like three a day, on top of the scheduling. There's a lot of people that know how to get to my schedule uh, to book a reading, but apparently there's a lot of people that don't because I've been getting uh, about three emails a day. Uh, I'd like to book a reading with you. How can I do that? If you want to just look underneath this video, there will be a link to my schedule. And you just, it says Schedulosity, okay? Uh, so you go, just click that link and it brings you right to my schedule and you choose your slot. I am booking out to April 14th at this time. A couple of the emails have said in the last week, are you sure you don't have anything before then? Yes, I'm absolutely positively sure that I don't have anything before then. So, yeah, if you'd like to book a reading, look underneath this video in the description and you will find a link that brings you right to my schedule. So let's get started. What do we got? What do we got? I wasn't even going to do readings for April, but I changed my mind. So what do we got for the daily energy, the daily vibes? Ooh, three of wands reversed. Now that's lack of foresight, not seeing, unable to see, wasted time, a need to refocus. No vision. We have no somebody that just can't see something. They've been wasting time focusing on the past instead of the future. What? The Empress. The Empress. The Empress in the upright, thank God. So the Empress is the goddess of love. She is very abundant. She's very fertile. Uh, very valuable. Very comfortable. She, she's a creator. We have a creator here. Somebody's been wasting time not seeing. Now this is the, this is the, uh, queen of all queens. She's a homemaker. She's a lover. She's abundant. She can grow anything. And something is growing because she brings growth to a situation. She can create whatever she wants, okay? With a smile at that. So anyway, it looks as though we have... This is a very fertile time to create something new. So yes, but somebody is not seeing the opportunity because they're focused on the past. This is an opportunity to focus on the future and create so a new life. You need to get creating a new life. Stop focusing on the past. Stop wasting your time. Looking back, that is gone for a reason. This is the birth of a new life. So you need to start focusing on the future. It's time to, you think about the Empress, it's incubate, okay? To start, to start over. It's a very fertile time. To start something new. That's what you should be focused on. Stop focusing on the past. The Empress is a mother. If you want something to grow, all you got to do is nurture it. Take care of it. And it will grow. This is a domestic goddess right here. She has the knowledge. She has experience. She gains experience. She gets creative. So this, she's very creative. So get creative. You know, this is a spinning wheel. You can, you can spin anything. All you got to do is try. King of Swords reversed. King of Swords is a naysayer in reverse. This is a naysayer. This is somebody who's who's confused, not thinking clearly. 
undecisive or indecisive, unreasonable, unwilling to take a new approach, stubborn, cold, stuck in their ways. We got somebody here that is having a hard time, having a very hard time focusing on the future. This is somebody who uh, is unwilling to change their mind, very stuck, very stuck in their ways, not changing my mind, refusing to take a new approach. This person is a little closed off or a lot closed off, hard to sway, very hard to sway. Wow. King of Wands reversed. So, uh, unreasonable. Is somebody unreasonable? Uh, unrealistic? Stubborn? Egotistical? Lack of energy, lack of desire, refusing. We have somebody here that is refusing to take a new approach. Very, 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 very stuck in their ways. Therefore, whatever whatever they're doing isn't growing. It's not manifesting. It's not happening. It's like their ship is sailing away. It's, it's The ship is sailing away. Meanwhile, this creator over here is blossoming. She's blossoming. Because she can spin anything. She's willing to, to do it. She's willing to change. You think about the Empress. When, you, when, when she gets pregnant, yeah, things are about to change in a hurry. She's willing to. So the, we got somebody over here that is unwilling to change, definitely. And over here, we got somebody that is. So these people, or this person, maybe taking on both of these energies, this person is uh, fearful, um, controlling, clinging to control, unwilling to change, unwilling, seriously, unwilling to take any new approaches, and may even get angry. There could be some sort of abuse here. Uh, hmm... I'm getting mad. Somebody may get angry. Just got to be honest. Um, unwilling to take a new approach. Six of swords reversed. New way. I'm refusing. I refuse to go anywhere. I'm not doing it. I refuse. I'm staying put. Even though there's turbulence. Even though it's a struggle. I'm staying put. So we have a very stubborn individual that is keeping themselves in a troubled situation that is going nowhere. It's really going nowhere because of their, you know, they got something to prove. Maybe it's to society. Maybe it's to their family. Maybe it's to themselves. It's not going to grow. It's not growing. It's not going anywhere. It's just, it's very troublesome situations. Very rocky. It's very turbulent. Un wasting time. Wasting time in this situation. Seriously. Unwilling to focus on the future. Just has no vision. This is somebody who is missing an opportunity because of their unreasonableness. This person is very unreasonable. You can't tell this person anything. This is a know-it-all. So we definitely have a know-it-all over here that is stuck. This guy is stuck. He's stuck. And he's, and I'm not sure, he may be missing an opportunity. This is missing an opportunity right here. It could be with an empress. I'm not sure. Very egotistical. The king of wands in reverse, especially. But the, but but the King of Swords as well. But anyway, in the reverse, any card in reverse, a male especially, is very... Well, women are too. But anyway, it's egotistical. But this is extremely egotistical. Somebody... And, and fearful. Ego is based out of fear. Okay? Um, now, this is non-compliant as well. We have somebody here that is unwilling to comply, not following rules by the looks of things. I'm going to do whatever I want. You're not my boss. Hmm. Well, somebody's about to learn a lesson because this is a lesson being learned. This is a lesson. So, so we have somebody here that is about to learn a lesson and a cycle of their life is about to end. Okay, so this is a cycle. A project is coming to an end. That cycle is over. That project is over. That phase is over. Okay, 
So somebody may get really upset because they didn't see it coming. They had no con contingency plan. They had no idea that this was going to come to a halt. And now they're upset. Somebody could get really, really upset with this uh, situation that has ended. Looks like it's, it may have ended abruptly and it makes somebody very upset. Um, this is an ending. Okay, it is an ending and a lesson. A lesson is going to be learned. Something has happened that they were unprepared. Not prepared. So somebody was unprepared to be stopped in their tracks. There's no more there's no more travel. That's what this is. That is exactly what this is. Now this person is, is upset. Could be very pissed off and could even become abusive, maybe even mentally abusive, maybe really upset, maybe may have some sort of outbursts. This person may freak out, seriously, may really freak out and act in an abusive manner because they can't go anywhere. You're not going anywhere. And this is worldwide. <laughs> Yeah, it is. So anyway, we this is a this is a complete stop. There's no movement, obviously. But this creator right here, she is creating something. The chariot. Something has definitely come to a dead stop. This is a dead stop. Travel. Movement driving dead stop it's coming to a dead stop and maybe that's going to be an order i hate to say it but travel um this is travel this is travel this is dead stop done which we already know done 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 no traveling no traveling which we already know so this person over here could get very upset, could even become abusive because they're stuck and they're trapped. They're, they feel trapped. This could be an emotional outburst or a disaster ahead. Okay? So we, we could have somebody that gets very, very angry and says some things and does some things out of emotion. Okay? They can't master their emotions. You know, it's a freak out. It's a freak out. And it causes something to end because this is an ending. This has all happened because the world card is about leaving the past behind. And that one is too. So this is all part of the plan. It's all part of the master plan. This is the universe's plan. This is a universe card. This is part of the plan. You can't stay stuck in this phase. You can't stay stuck here anymore. It's time to move on. It is time. It's time to move on from that. Okay? It's time to create a new life. That's why this is happening. Somebody hasn't been honoring their truth. They haven't been being honest with themselves. And now it's like their power is being taken away because they're not being honest. This is not being honest. It's not being truthful. There's a lack of truth here. And this is refusing to take a new approach as well. Knight of Pentacles reversed. So this is a uh, financial loss. Somebody is going to be experiencing some sort of financial loss. They did not have a contingency plan. They uh, didn't plan effectively, apparently. They didn't plan effectively. Now there's no more travel. Uh, it doesn't look good. So they're losing money. They're definitely losing money. But we got this creator right here who's very abundant. Which is interesting. She's creating and she is creating something. This Empress is creating something. Out of out of love. She's smiling. She is smiling. She knows. She's experienced. The Empress is experienced. She has life experience behind her back. Looks like she sees that something isn't going well. This is a lack of success. 
She knows that something is coming to an end. She knows, and so she's creating something new. So we do have an empress here that it, that is, is putting a new spin on things and creating something new. Looks like a masculine over here is flipping out. Um, now this is this is the the the, the Knight of Pentacles reversed is a dropout. This is somebody that is irresponsible, somebody that's that is greedy, uh, is probably becoming unemployed, and he may this person that is becoming un, that unemployed obviously didn't have a plan, didn't have a contingency plan, right? Now things have come to a dead stop, a dead halt. And, and money is going to be lost. We got somebody here who's feeling scattered. Okay. Th this person is feeling scattered. They're feeling scattered. They're feeling uh, overly emotional. And they may have an outburst. Like a, a freak out. I think I see a freak out here. You know, freak out over this loss of money. Okay. So they were not prepared. They were not prepared. Uh, but the universe, because this is a universe card, says that this phase of your life is over. Stop fighting it. Move on. Create something new. This is karma. This is the laws of karma. Everything is turning out as it should. There's consequences for your actions. You know, karma acts in mysterious ways. And a lot of you are like, huh, this isn't karma. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. This is about being honest and upfront. Being honest with yourself. Somebody hasn't been being honest with themselves. Karma is paying somebody a visit. This person is egotistical and greedy and abusive. Probably only focused on money because I don't see any love in these cards. She's got love. She's the goddess of love, but that's it. Somebody was greedy and selfish. And this greedy and selfish looks like it's a boss of some sort or somebody that really focused on their money. Really focused on control, focused on their power. Um, this person is being stopped right in their tracks. And this is a karmic situation. This, this is We got somebody here that feels like this isn't fair. This isn't fair. Oh yes it is. This is fair. All is fair. You get what you deserve. You can't get away with lies. You can't get away with... Uh, not being honest, you can't get away with um, deception, put it that way. Anyhow, I feel as though we do have something that is coming to a dead stop. It's coming to an end. It's final. It's final. This is final. It's final. I think there's going to be an emotional outburst ahead when somebody uh, realizes that they've lost all their money or they've lost something that they invested in. I feel like there's going to be an emotional outburst ahead. Uh, somebody's going to have a freak out session because they realize that they have to leave something behind that they uh, created. They created it, but... It wasn't in integrity. It wasn't. It wasn't. In, it wasn't. The justice is about integrity. I feel like they wasted their time. They may have. They did something that was uh, obviously. I feel like it was unjustified, and now they're getting payback in the form of a financial loss. It's the way the universe works in mysterious ways. We have a very greedy, egotistical individual here who is going to experience a financial loss because of their greed. The universe and karma works in mysterious ways. The magician, this is a this is as above, so below. 
And this is creating as well. Manifesting. But be willing to let go of the old to bring in the new. If you were to look up the magician, you must be willing to let go of the old to bring in the new. So we're having, we have somebody here, I think it's a masculine, that is having a very difficult time letting go of something that uh, isn't going to prosper anymore. And this is karmic. This is karmic consequences for greediness. And I feel like they need to be willing to let go of something that wasn't stable, that wasn't secure. May have seemed it, but it was based out, out of greed. It really was. I know that it was. This is about character. It really is. What goes around comes around. So I feel as though somebody hasn't been being honest. They haven't been being truthful and they have abused their power. And this abuse of power is going to bring them some karmic consequences in the form of financial loss. Okay. They may even be losing uh, this empress. I'm not sure, but it looks like she's standing alone over here. But she's also looking at, um, this is something new. So she's looking at something new. She has the power. She has the tools. She has the resources to create whatever she wants. This is definitely a creator here. But this is a very masculine energy. So the masculine has the tools and the resources to create whatever he wants as well. But he has to let go of his ego and his pride. And master his emotions. And be willing to let go of whatever this thing is that he's trying to hold on to. It's time to create. Your new future. And if you don't, it's just going to get worse. And you don't have to believe me. <laughs> Go ahead, don't. You, you, it will get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And it's about acting with integrity. That, that justice card, somebody hasn't acted with integrity. And until you act with integrity and do the right thing for the world, shit is going to get worse. And you don't have to, but I'm just telling you, you got to let go of that greed. You got to swallow that pride and you, and you can't be, uh, abusive. I mean, this is somebody who just doesn't care. It's very much selfish, very, very selfish, self-centered. All they care about themselves. We have somebody here that only cares about themselves. This person that is very egotistical and selfish and uh, mean. This is somebody who is mean. They are going to be stopped right in their tracks. They are. So anyway, I feel like we, we have somebody that needs to get busy creating a new life. Stop wasting your time looking back. It's time to focus on the future. Get real. Find the resources and the tools to create something new. Good luck.